so this uh, this movie has a huge uh, cult following because it's considered to be one of the best, best worst, worst, worst movies, movies ever made, and it's so true. Like the For movie sure. is so bad yeah. in every respect, but it's so entertaining because to it. watch. It is just so absolutely incredibly entertaining to watch. Yeah. Actually, recently, well, while we're shooting this right now, we just reached over about. Uh, we just reached about over 200 subscribers, mm -hmm. which um, I'm pretty happy about. I mean, it's great that uh, um, we've had so many people follow the, sh follow the show and enjoy watching our show, and uh, we really appreciate it. Uh, and all the feedback you guys have been giving and all your suggestions for movies to review have been Keep awesome. Keep suggesting. That's the best thing you can do. Yeah. Because it makes us makes us know that you guys are actually like listening to what's being said, like what we're asking from you. Because yeah. we could just give out the stuff, and if nothing kind of comes back, then it just kind of flatlines. Because right now we just uh, got a suggestion for uh, Super Mario Brothers movie. And I think yes. we totally have to review that. Yeah. You know, because there's just so many bad ones. So for for you guys to come in with your suggestions is awesome. Because it kind of makes them a part of the show too. Absolutely, you, you get know? to shape totally. it. I just insisted that we take the time to give credit to each one of the subscribers that makes this show possible. <laughs> Troll 2. I know I bet a lot of people have been looking forward to a review for Troll 2. And I've been looking forward to reviewing Troll 2. Troll 2 is one of the movies that I wanted to review ever since we started the show. Right. And <clears throat> finally, we got a Blu-ray uh, of Troll 2. Um, and uh, watching this movie was so much fun. And honestly, I urge you, I, I beg you, if you haven't seen Troll 2, you have to go out and see Troll 2. There'll be ones where, you know, <clears throat> movies are watched or whatever, and it just goes like, you know what, we watch this because so that you didn't have to. Mm -hmm. In this mm -hmm. case, it's just like, we're just sharing some of the love. And, yeah, absolutely. You know, so maybe... You know, we're going to tell you, because I don't want to say watch the movie and then watch this, because then you're for gonna, gonna forget to watch the rest of this. So just watch this, and you can watch it and be like, yeah, they're right. Because we're going right. to go through the movie, yeah. but still, you still got to watch it you just miss, to get like, the full yeah. effect yeah. of the movie. Watch it with your friends and just, uh, you know, have a few beers and watch Troll 2. Have some popcorn <laughs> or corn. Yes, but no drugs. We don't advocate the use of drugs. Pistachio flavored pudding. Of course, weed isn't a drug. Smoke as much as you possibly can and watch Troll 2. I like heroin. So the, the story with Troll 2 is that it actually was supposed to be called Goblins. That was the original... <sighs> so the story the story with Troll 2... Like it's wafting this way. <laughs> Sorry, man. You're doing, you're doing it the wrong way. There you go. You glicked again. You're, you're blowing it, but you're going like this. <sighs> All right, whatever. <laughs> No, it's back this way. It's like a cloud. <laughs> <laughs> this movie was actually called Goblins yeah. uh, during production. And when I, I guess when it was finished, the just, uh, distribution company said, you know, there's no way that this movie is going to make it anywhere. So yeah. what we should do is call it Troll 2 and kind of leech off the movie Troll. But this has nothing to do with Troll at all. At all. And that's kind of what makes it so funny. So anyways, the movie starts off with this guy in this stupid hat. <laughs> uh, that's like in the forest, and uh, like a these gremlins or goblins. So these goblins are, uh, I guess, like chasing after him or whatever. And uh, I guess there's like kid Joshua is being told this story yeah. by his grandfather. Mm -hmm. And um, goes into <clears> the <throat> funniest music that just totally doesn't fit. Oh, the music's perfect. Like, it doesn't fit what's that's, going on. Yeah, that's why it's so perfect <laughs> for a bad movie. Yeah. So anyways, um, the guy's running and being chased by the goblins, and he I don't know, does a somersault and knocks, knocks himself out, and uh, then he gets uh, saved by this girl with these painted-on freckles. Anyways, the girl, like, feeds him this, like, green <laughs> crap, and he just, like, voluntarily just eats it. It's like, oh, oh this is delicious. It looks like food coloring and glue, or, like, <laughs> cornstarch and flour just, like, mixed together. Yeah. It's disgusting. So then I guess it turns out that the girl was actually a goblin, like, in disguise, and the stuff she fed him 
turns him into half human, half plant, and I guess that's the goblin's like favorite thing Food. to eat, right? Yeah. So, anyways, the mom comes and interrupt uh, interrupts the story, and I guess the grandpa doesn't exist; like he's dead. Yeah. Like <laughs> he's like, oh, yeah, he's like, grandpa was just telling Dude, me a story. Oh. So then we have this dialogue that's just, you know, clunked out of there. Just absolutely horrible dialogue. Yeah. Grandpa Seth has been gone for more than six months now. You were at the funeral, and I know it was very difficult for you. It was also very difficult for your father, and for Holly, and for me, his daughter. He was an amazing man. Grandpa Seth has remained in all our hearts, but you must banish him from your mind. Oh, so then we go to this uh, the 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 chick the, the girl's room, and it's so funny how we just have all these like shots of like random things in her room, yeah. but it's like they're too random, like it just doesn't yeah, make like sense smurf. at all. Yeah, like, <laughs> and then like uh, for some reason she's lifting weights, yeah, like, lifting like all of like twenty three pounds, not even it's like seven, <laughs> <laughs> including, the, including bar. the bar. So then the girl's like boyfriend like creeps through her like window and stuff, and then she like I don't know she kind of like. Pushes him around, kicks him and stuff like that. Oh, but, yeah, knees him in the groin. Yeah, and then just, again, the, the dialogue, it almost sounds like it's its a theater play. You have like, to hear the, you have to hear a piece yeah, of this. Yeah, you, you really do. Just it, to understand. It's, it's like, ahead. yeah. Is it true that your family is going on vacation tomorrow? Yes. I'll come with you? Okay, I'll tell my father that you're coming with us tomorrow. Where are we going? Nilbog, a wonderful half-empty town. It's an exchange. A family from the country is coming to live here, and we're going to live in their house. Oh, Elliot, it will be wonderful. It just sounds like dialogue that will be delivered on stage. I sure right? hope father doesn't come home. <laughs> <laughs> so then they're, I guess they're, they're taking a trip out to Nilbog to this house, and they're switching houses with the people, I guess. So they're going to take their house, who, people, by the way, that they've never met, no. and then um, those people are going to take their house for, I don't know, a week, whatever the hell. Mm -hmm. Anyways, so then uh, while they're driving, the kid has this horrible nightmare that, like, he turns, like, into a plant, and, like, the, everybody in the car is actually... He has all the green it's so funny, like, his face. how they do it. They just basically pour, like, food coloring or whatever the hell it face. is on their face. And just, like, oh, just close your eyes while we pour the freaking food coloring <laughs> all like, over. He's like, <laughs> So they rise at that, arrive at the house. So they give them the keys, and they leave. And then I guess at the end, the, like, other kid throws the kid a baseball. <laughs> And on the baseball, it's like, eat before we eat you. That's like... The kid's like, what the f***? Like, <laughs> who, wh why is it written on a baseball? Yeah. So anyways, they come into the house and they see, oh, look at all this food. Green that they, pastries. I'm so hungry. And then, like, the, the they're like they're getting ready to eat and the grandpa shows up at the window. He's like, you got to stop them. They can't eat. The grandpa is like, you have 30 seconds to do it. So he snaps oh, his fingers right. yeah. and freezes the family on the spot, so the Freeze kid has 30 seconds. The kid has 30 seconds to figure out what he's gonna do to stop his family from eating this crap. But the funny thing is, is that like, <laughs> you can see that they're still shaking. moving. Yeah, like, like, it's on just... the close-ups, they're shaking. <laughs> they're pretty good. Like their face. Yeah, their I know, face but... is great, but their joints yeah, you suck. Can't, well, you can't stop moving like yeah. completely. Like it's just impossible. Yeah. But you look at the food that they got. Like she's got a corn, a, like a, a cob, a of, cob corn. of corn with a bl something blue, blue on it. So yeah. then the kid just like gets up on the table and he's like, I gotta, I gotta do, do it. it. I gotta stop the he takes <laughs> off his <laughs> And the funny thing is is that we were joking about it before it happened. Yeah. Like yeah. he was gonna do something like really messed up and then all <laughs> of a sudden really he stands funny up. If he pissed on the food. He pissed and then... on the food. And then he stands up on the chair and he zones up his pants and we're like, No way. <laughs> There's then no way. Just cuts to them like throwing all the food out. They're super mad at the kid. <laughs> and the dad like takes him into the room. He's just like, what right do you think you have to piss on the food? Do you see this writing? Do you know what it means? Hospitality. And you can't piss on hospitality. I won't allow it. 
And then it's so funny because then all of a sudden, like, the dad just starts, un- like, buckling, like, yeah. his pants. And you're like, is he gonna what kind of a face? <laughs> is he going to, like, pee on the kid? And the dad's like, oh, i got to loosen my belt so that I don't feel hunger, hunger pains. pains. Yeah. Like, like what? Rip? What? What is that? So then the blue guy, I'm just going to call him blue guy, he sees this chick, like, running through the woods. And he's like, hey, yes, hey. Yes, ma'am, ma'am, stop. Yeah. Please, Rob. Stay, please stop. Don't <laughs> what so anyways, he sees a bunch of monsters in the woods and he just goes up, you know, they're all holding like sharp spears and he goes up to like all of them and just like, yeah, you better leave or you're going to be in big trouble. So <laughs> they just throw a spear at him and nail him right in the shoulder. <laughs> ah! And they run to this like house in the woods and she's like, oh, we should just go in here. It's like a church. Yeah. So they go inside. There's dry ice everywhere and like just weird crap and this woman comes and she's like oh uh, you'll be safe here i want you to drink some broth that'll make you feel better it's like obviously the guy just needs like some stitches they drink the stuff and she just flips out starts choking and he's just kind of like oh what's what's going on and she's like nothing drink your broth yeah (laughs) (laughs) drink your broth (laughs) <laughs> he's like, wait. He's like, I can't move. Why can't I move? There must be some kind of logical explanation for all of this. And yeah. she starts bleeding That's again. That's literally said. Some logical explanation for all of this. She just starts, like, getting the green stuff. I just... love when she falls back, though, and it splashes <laughs> up her face. Right there. Yeah. It splashes up her face. <laughs> he's like, I didn't plan that. <laughs> and then she's like a cabbage here, I guess. Or part <laughs> cabbage. And she's just like, eh. So then here comes the goblins. <laughs> the, a Muppet in front. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the goblin rejects it. Nope, 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 nope. They just kind of just start eating it. Yeah, and scooping. here comes the greatest line. Like you've probably seen this line it's on YouTube. Everywhere. You've, you've probably seen it somewhere. So we're just gonna play it for you here. You know. They're eating her. And then they're going to eat me. Oh my god! So then. Um, for some reason, we go back to the house, and the chick is doing this really... I don't know what this is, like a <laughs> dance or something like that? It's just really weird. It makes Doesn't, no sense. Like, what is this? And she's like, went home and practiced this, and she's like, oh, it seems really cool, but then like, she looks back, and she's like, oh my god, I look like an idiot. What like, what's this? up with the sea grabs? <laughs> she's grabbing, like, seas out of the air. Like, sea, 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 sea. <laughs> <laughs> That's the only way I could. But like at the beginning, she does the whole "Hi ho, silver away." So then uh, Tupac is uh, looking <laughs> like in the fridge. He's like, <laughs> <laughs> "Oh my so god! Oh my god!" But I guess I guess the guys. And the guys just totally decide, normal with it. Yeah, the guys just decide to sleep naked together. Yeah. And uh, he it's decides. Hot. He, <laughs> <laughs> he decides to go for a jog. Well, the guy's jogging. He gets like pulled over by a cop. And the cop is like, get in. And he's like, okay. So he gets in, and then the cop is like, you hungry? Here, eat this green sandwich. <laughs> and the guy's like, gee, thanks, officer. Hey, mm, sheriff. This is pretty good. So he takes him into town. So then this weird guy comes out and was like, would you like some milk? And the, it's uh, free. This, right now, by now, this guy's like super sweaty and there's green coming down his face. Yeah. As per usual. There's the green again. He's like, just take some milk, it's free. And the guy's like, yeah, this will hydrate me. Milk. I think the last thing you want when you're jogging is like a big tall glass of milk. It's so damn hot. Milk was a bad choice. They're in town, like the kid and the dad, and for some reason the dad just finds a vegetable cookbook, another zoom in for no reason. And the kid sees like, oh my god, the name of the city is Goblin. Backwards. Yeah, so uh, the kid, I guess the dad falls asleep. So the kid just pieces out and does like a little quick stun off the sidewalk as he like plays the scene. (laughs) So then the kid goes into like, I don't know, what is this, like some kind of church thing, a shack, and finds them like all these like people like in the room and they're talking about how to, you know, eat like the humans and the people or whatever. And the kid's like, oh shoot, right ah! in the face. <laughs> Look how big that person's hand is. He's just shaking his head, grabbing his him, head. he's just rattling his head. <laughs> <laughs> so then yeah. they're like, oh, have some Nilbog ice cream, which just looks like... Like uh, pudding. Yeah, like butter. Yeah, so the Melted sheriff butter. and Ted DiBiase are holding the kid down while they try and <laughs> shove it in his mouth. <laughs> 
the dad finds out where he is and he's just like, like, the kids, uh, he comes in and he's like, what are you doing to my son? And he's like, they're trying to, they're gonna eat us, they're goblins. Look at all their faces, they have clovers on them. Yeah. They're sick. Which I don't know what the clovers have to do with anything. Yeah, I know, it's kind of weird. Yeah, that's right. Never really came... explained the clover thing. Yeah. Ever. So, anyways, the you know <laughs> Tupac finds his friend, like inside the the, the house. He doesn't even see him at first, even though there's a dude standing yeah, there he's in a like, pot. Yeah. So then he like I don't know get, gets him like the talk, and the guy's like, "You gotta get me out of here." And he's like, "How do I do that?" He's, he's just like, the "Grab pot. the pot and pull me out." <laughs> Grab the pot and drag me out quick. I'll try. And then, of course, the witch comes back and throws him on the bed and he passes out. Yeah. For some reason. Didn't take much. And then, she, I don't know what happens here. I guess yeah. she, She's she, like, you've been a bad plant. Don't yeah. worry. This will only tickle a little bit. So she, like, starts sawing him and he starts laughing Giggling. for some reason. So then they're just, like, having this stupid hoedown inside the house or whatever. And they're just like, oh, they brought us free food. And the yeah. kid's like, no, we can't eat it. And he's just like, no, you the mixture of Ted DiBiase versus Colonel Sanders comes up to the dad and is like, it's okay, he'll get over it. Anyways, in the meantime, enjoy all this free pastries that are green. Yeah. Like, it's funny, like, they didn't even notice that there's something weird that's all pastries and no meat. Yeah. Or anything. Mm hmm And then they bring all this stuff, they kind of set them all down, and then... I don't know, there's like a goblin that comes and attacks the kid for some reason, and the oh. camera gets right up in his face. It's just yeah. total failure. Yeah, it almost looks like it's about to bash him on the chin. Yeah. It's like, yeah. like, this is the only take we had. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. So I guess uh, the freaking grandpa shows up, and he like starts cutting up the, the goblins, right? And he's sweating bucks now, too. Yeah. He's like, we're going to take this and freaking do a Molotov cocktail on him. <laughs> <laughs> so then uh, Ted DiBiase grabs the... Molotov cocktail, and he turns into a god, and then he has this like lightning fight. Yeah, with... he's like, "I'm going to send you, Grandpa Seth, back to hell." Yeah, it's like, why did why did Grandpa Seth end up in hell? What did he do? <laughs> and then all of a sudden, Grandpa Seth fights back, and he like hits him with a strike of lightning, and then the freaking Molotov cocktail blows up and sets T Ted DiBiase on fire. <laughs> And then they, uh, they Everybody extinguish runs him. Out. Yeah. And that's like, oh my god, it's a goblin. And then they're like, these people are all goblins. And they're like, we should get out of here. And this goes on for like a so minute? long. Yeah, they're just backing and up a minute, a minute real, really slow. Yeah. Like, just run. A just minute turn doesn't around. sound like a long time, but, it but it's is. an actual literal minute, it seems like, yeah. of them just backing up through 10 feet of people. Yeah, just run. Just get out of there. Yeah. So then they like run back into the house. And, um, I don't know, the witch turns day into night or yeah. something. So then the, the one remaining guy in the RV sees the witch outside holding a cob of corn. And somehow he's seduced oh, by oh, her. Oh. Yeah, and he's just, she's just like, don't you want, she's like, don't you want to eat the corn? He's like, well, it's kind of cold. And she's like, well, why don't we eat, eat it, it up? up? And, and they start bowing go. down on the cob. And just... look what happens next. So then they're having like a seance in the in the, in the I don't know the house to like get Grandpa Seth to come back. This is so funny. I love the mom's just reactions here. Like they're absolutely yeah. priceless. We should see how many times she does that look. <laughs> And then, like, the goblins start attacking all of them. Yeah, which is and, what they uh, should have done in the first place instead of having the little camp out outside. <laughs> and look at that fall down the steps. Yeah, the it, almost looks, like he, off the it almost looks like he, like, really hurt himself. <laughs> he has his legs, him. like, up, like, awkwardly. <laughs> like, ow! I don't know, the kid's just searching around this house, and then he gets, like, attacked by goblins again for some reason. Yeah. And then he's still being attacked by the Good goblins. News. And then Grandpa shows Grandpa up, Seth punches him in the face. Up. Remember, Grandpa Seth is a ghost. He doesn't yeah. really exist. Anyway, so he starts, he's like, well, we gotta destroy the power stone in order to destroy the, the, the goblins, goblins the witch right? Yeah. 
Um, they start pushing on this. I guess this. They're destroys like no. They're it? concentrating on like oh. destroying it. You have to like think about destroying it or something. And then um, you see the witch freaking out outside because they they realize that um, Grandpa Seth and the kid are trying to destroy the stone and get rid of the goblins. So she starts screaming, and then which communicates to the goblins inside the house. So then they poof disappear. Yeah. And then they end up at the house, and she's all gangly again. And they start like trying to kill the kid, I guess. Yeah. But they like this is the thing about the goblins though they won't eat meat so they have to turn humans into plants yeah, first they before they to, can eat them. Yeah, they have it's to the eat the It's the most ridiculous smush. thing. So then the kid is just like, "Oh, I've got a double decker bologna sandwich." He's like, <laughs> "No," and he starts mowing down on it. It's funny because yeah. it was obviously so disgusting. The oh, kid yeah, didn't want to eat just it. Like, yeah, just, so he's just, just like eat around it. Yeah, so he's just <laughs> pretending to bite it, right? Yeah. And then like, uh, so they can't get close to the kid when he's got bologna in his mouth. <laughs> so. <laughs> <laughs> the family shows up at the house somehow and he's like, you gotta concentrate on destroying the stone. So they destroy the stone, yeah. which destroys like all the goblins, I guess. And then they just start exploding. This is the yeah. coolest part where they just yeah. start like... Yeah, the, the <laughs> just, just like puking. Yeah, bleh. they just start like Barfing dying. on everybody. Yeah, and like like their eyes. The are reject exploding. one just starts blowing its eyes out. I love how it just cuts to a shot of like a fake lightning bolt. Like it's you know, yeah, it's just, it looks like somebody shooting a light through a piece of cart yeah, construction paper. Yeah, construction paper. That's basically <laughs> what it is. So I guess this kills all the goblins, and um, yeah, that's that. And then they just then all of a sudden just cuts to them coming home and they're like, oh, like what a yeah. weekend! And the dad's they're all like, just like a little sweaty, like that was a long yeah. Time. And the dad's like, I gotta go to the office and look <laughs> over some. Are you fucking kidding? You just me, fought man? off goblins. Like you went through that whole deal. It's just like well, maybe they're just sick of each other. Like I don't want to be around you. Well, so yeah, I gotta do some like, work. Yeah, go to the office. And the mom's like, all right, let's just go inside. So she goes in. She's like, oh, there's apples in the <laughs> fridge. She's like, let's eat some apples, Joshua. Are you sure you know one one? It's delicious. She's and, just mowing down yeah. on this apple. Mm, so good oh. and the kid's just like no i'm sleepy i think i'm gonna like, go take a nap yeah. so then the kid goes back to his room he hears something weird or yeah. something so that he goes through the house and then he ends up going down the stairs and look it's the baseball and what does the baseball say it says yummy, yummy. mom is so good like are you kidding me right now awesome. mommy and he goes up the stairs <laughs> and he finds like the shower is like coated in like Green, green mush. mush. So yeah. I guess like mommy. <laughs> <laughs> so he like He's runs, say one more time runs downstairs, and he finds like the goblins in the kitchen, and they're eating his mom. That's funny because they're not even eating; they're just like pushing. Like, it yeah, on they're their just face. pushing it in their face. Like there's yeah. not even an attempt to make it look like they're eating it. Yeah, they're not even pushing it really close to their face. No, they're not just at all. Gathering it, and just like. Mm. And then here comes the last line of the movie. Do you want some, Joshua? And that's it. Again, another freeze frame, and that's the end of the movie. So, Matt. So bad, it's almost good. But it's so entertaining. It's so much fun to watch. Just yeah, just like watching this train wreck. Such a monumental <laughs> failure in cinema. Oh, yeah, that totally. It's so bad. And yeah. it's like, I don't know, you know, you gotta... <laughs> it's got a huge cult following. The movie Absolutely. Does, it's so bad. And they made a documentary so yeah. for its 20th anniversary. And uh, yeah, we, I still have to watch that, but that looks like a lot, it looks like a good documentary. Yeah. Overall, uh, Troll Two is a movie that's so bad that it's good. Absolutely. And um, you know what? Be, I think it would be awesome is if you guys, I want to know what you guys think about the movie. Yeah. Watch the movie and then post your favorite parts about the movie. Absolutely. Um, in the comment section. Give like a time code readout or something <laughs> that I think that would be really funny to just see what people think of certain scenes or have any questions about what's going on. Or yeah, or anything like that. Yeah. So uh, post that in the comment section. Uh, thanks for watching. Please subscribe and uh, stay tuned for some more terrible uh, reviews coming up of uh, some some of our least favorite horror movies. Woo! Okay.